This is Twit. Our picture of the week, uh, having just just jumped up and down and congratulated Cloudflare, um, I don't know where they get these numbers. Um, so <laughs> Fred Flintstone, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're showing 1.1.1.1. That's their new the, service, the, which they launched on April service. Fool's Day, which confused everybody. It did, especially because it's four one and it's four ones. Well, that's what Matthew, like Matthew a, the CEO Matthew Prince said. This is exactly the perfect time to launch it on four one, right? Yeah. Even though, so it, the good news is it's not a joke. However, okay, they're, so they're showing fourteen point eight milliseconds for their DNS lookup. Uh, they're showing open DNS at twenty point six. Google's public DNS at 34.7 and the average ISP. And I don't know what, who, what, what ISP is it? Is it 68.23? Um, we'll get to this in a minute, but, but you know, I'm, I have to say, I'm really sort of tickled that if you Google for the term DNS benchmark and look at images, it's just a screen full of of screenshots of GRC's benchmark. Um, so I ran it a few minutes ago in order to make a screenshot for the show notes. Uh, and my ISP, right, that is that makes sense, is the closest DNS server to me. I mean, any package going to any other DNS server have to go by my ISP first, sort of by definition. Well, it was... Eight milliseconds for four of my Cox servers. Um, Cox uh, is my ISP here in Southern California. 1.1.1.1 to their credit, and I fully intend to give them credit, was one millisecond longer. It was the fastest non-Cox DNS server of all. I mean, and I've got open DNS and I've got Google public DNS and a whole bunch of other ones are in there. So, I mean, it is absolutely the fastest alternative to any DNS server that's not your ISPs. But I don't know whose ISP takes 68 milliseconds to respond. Uh, you know, I, I just can't explain that. But, you know, not mine. So the good news is... Uh, for Windows users, and it runs under Wine, I think, too. So non-Windows users who have access to Wine should be able to run GRC's DNS benchmark and test this themselves, and I would suggest everyone does because, you know, if it, in my case, the performance penalty is, is pro well, it is measurable, but it is arguably not worth sacrificing the benefits uh, which we will be talking about when we talk about Cloudflare's offering. So anyway, just the, the picture of the week was what is being plastered everywhere. And it's like, uh, okay, the good news is no one has to believe this bar chart with numbers that are strange. I mean, Google's public DNS wasn't that much slower, nor was open DNS. It was, they were slower, but not like, ouch. So, Anyway, people can find out for themselves and everyone should because, you know, your mileage will vary. And boy, if, you, if your ISP is taking 68 milliseconds to respond to a single UDP packet, you know, if you have any choice, you might, you might consider what else they're slow at.